Hey everybody, Instable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a massive update coming for Dragon Champions. Really cool stuff here. Oh man, this game just continues to get, I don't know, in my mind, cooler and cooler. It's awesome. There's so much going on, and we're going to take a look at all of it here. And it's uh, just coming out next week, I hear, plus some uh, continued stuff coming out in the next few weeks. So we're going to dive into all this. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with the newest in mobile gaming, the hero collectors, the gotcha games, all the games we love to play, then consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I don't know. I got to come up with something else to say or something because it's starting to sound weird to me, I guess. <laughs> All right, so this is the official um, Dragon Champion Discord. Emerald Dragon put out quite a few notes here just the other day. So yesterday at 12.47 p.m., so this is hot off the press. Or the, well, okay, maybe lukewarm. Lukewarm off the press. All right, let's just go ahead and run through all this. Plus, we have a new character we're going to go ahead and take a look at as well. Uh, that they give us some information on. So we have Dragon Champion celebrates first seasonal events. We got Pumpkin Hallow Days coming. So with all uh, with the ha with the Halloween season and everything, we're seeing a whole bunch of events come across a bunch of different games. We have a new game mode, tournaments. This is a pretty interesting game mode. So every day you can fight with other players in two to three day tournaments, and then receive a bunch of different rewards, including skill scrolls. We're talking about characters that that aren't currently in the game, Dracoins, all that stuff. So seems to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that game mode hitting so we can um, so we can dive into that a little bit. Um, a little bit later in the video, we're, there's an FAQ I'm gonna go over as well that's specific to tournaments, and we'll go ahead and go over that in just a little bit. All right, news panel has been removed from the game, and it says any, anyway, no one used it. No one, I don't think anybody's going to complain about it. So, <laughs> news panel, boom, gone. We got new he uh, new hero, Cru Cruel. Her uh, hero stones can be obtained in a unique event, Pumpkin Holidays Tournament, in three to six mission and three to six, and three dash six mission in Invasion of Demons. Oh my gosh. It's a little late in the day. I'm a little tired, but hey. All right, so we got her. We're going to go over her kit here in just a second. Also, changed hero stone drops in three and four chapters in Invasion of Demons because of Cruel. So they're changing some things up there a little bit. Um, added rewards for 25th guild member in guild quests and raids. Now players can send messages in chat from level seven. Less spam should be. It's less spam should be. It's like Yoda. Less spam should be. Uh, no, I can't even talk like Yoda. But anyway, you know. So pretty cool there. Let's see what else we got. Enemies in nine dash in nine to twelve floors. Nine dash twelve floors in tower are weakened, but just a little, just enough to give you a little bit of hope. I haven't unlocked the tower yet. Um, I got a little ways to go for that, so I'm looking forward to getting into the tower though. I think it's going to be fun. Event chest uh, event chests now cost four hundred coins. Was five hundred. Well, that's cool. They're decreasing the cost of these event chests. You don't see that very often. Usually you see things increasing in cost and stuff like that. And then frequency. They increase the cost, then they increase the frequency. So then you have to spend more. But uh, that's kind of nice there. All right. So it says, for all players, we restored double first purchase bonus of Dracoins and added confirmation window so that you do not miss. All right. So very nice. Better deal there. We got some bugs that were fixed. Some balance changes. So what do we have? Uh, on Revel, Bloodlust, passive ability hero here, Revel deals 20%, was 25, so they reduced that uh, that damage right there. And Soleus, this, this guy, I mean, if you watch my video, this guy just seems massive. And uh, he's got a pretty cool kit as well. So heals all allies for 550%, it was 600%. So they nerfed him just a little bit. And then we have Cruel here. All right, so Cruel. Healing Darkness, first ability. So deal 255% of magic damage to an enemy. And if an enemy is a demon, heals herself and summoned reflections for 70% of the damage dealt. That's pretty interesting here. Summoned reflections. We'll have to see what that's all about. I am the knight. Cool down. All right, cool down to three, two of three. So deals 330% magic damage to an enemy. If an enemy is a defender, 
Then gain, let's see, gain invisibility for two turns. Calls to assist a reflection if he's alive. That's kind of interesting. 330% magic damage to the enemy. If an enemy is a defender, he gained invis invisibility for two turns. Then call an assist um, for, uh, from a reflection. So, okay, let's take a look at this reflection ability. We've got two abilities here that are all about these reflections, it seems. So, create reflection. Summon a reflection of the target enemy hero with 70% health and shields, 70% damage, and 75% speed can only summon one reflection at a time. So, you summon a reflection of the target enemy hero. So you choose somebody, you go ahead and make a duplicate of that person, I mean, of that uh, of that enemy. So then that first ability is gonna heal herself and that summoned reflection of whoever, whoever you made a mirror image of. And then, on this next ability, if an enemy is a defender, gain invisibility for two turns, Calls to assist a reflection if he's alive. Huh. I got to see this stuff kind of in action. It'd really be cool to see that. Uh, looks like an interesting kit there. Got it. But really got to kind of see it in play, right? And see what kind of the, the final product is. And uh, how this, uh, this new character fits onto a team. All right. So now we have this Bound by Shadows, the passive ability. So at the end of Cruel's turn... If there are three defenders on the battlefield, all allied defenders get a tenacity increase for one turn. And then if there are three healers, all allied healers gain cheat death for one turn. If there are three tacticians, okay, so, I mean, it's synergy with all the different types here. If there are three tacticians, all allied tacticians gain haste for one turn. If there are three warriors, all allied warriors gain counterattack for one turn. If there are three rangers... So it just really goes through all of them. All allied rangers get an accuracy increase for one turn. And then mages, all allied mages gain invisibility for one turn. So really, so if you have, so you have to have at least three, right? So if you're going to have three of any specific class plus her, then you have your fifth character. Um, so what, what would you do? Uh, maybe put her in with a healer and then three defenders. That would be kind of interesting there. Then you, I mean, you're just rotating your taunts there. That's kind of interesting. Very, like I said, very interesting kit. First time we've seen this, and uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, what she can do in the game. I'm assuming this is her right here. So there's this picture. There's this picture right here. I'm assuming that's her. Uh, has a <laughs> kind of has an Elvira vibe to me. I think. What do you guys think? Elvira vibe right there. All right. So here's the FAQ on the tournaments here. So it's a new game mode available for player level 30 on up. Tournaments will be active all the time. So there's no seasons or anything. It's just it's active all the time. Number of attempts, you get five attempts. One ticket of the tournament is restored every 30 minutes. Um, and then additional tickets can be purchased. Purchase price does not change. So it's 100 to coins for five tickets. And uh, the duration is two or three days for now. So if it's, so then I, I'm, I'm wondering, do you have a choice? Do you? Do you get to choose the two-day tournament or the three-day tournament? Or are they still trying to make up their mind? All right. Only live players can participate in tournaments. Players get points from victories in battles and, lo and lose it on defeat. And no battle timers at all. Nice that there's no battle timers. So it says only live players will participate in tournaments. So does this mean... So this means you're going head on with somebody live. You're never going to play a bot then, which is nice because come, you know, bots are kind of a pain sometimes. So we have a tournament level 30 plus. It's opened all the time. Um, you're battling a live player. So that that always adds a, a pretty interesting dynamic to the game because you're playing another human brain, right? So making decisions, it's not a computer controlling anything or or there's a set rotation of the abilities and things like that that you typically see in computer controlled battles like that. So very cool, another live person. That means it's gonna be tougher. It's gonna be much tougher. I think that's cool. All right, have I said that enough? I think it's cool. <laughs> All right, at the end of the tournament, players will receive a reward depending on place. That's appropriate. To participate in the tournament, players need to build a team that meets the requirements and then go through a qualifying battle with a team mirror. Qualification ends one day before the end of the tournament. After that, you won't be able to join it. 
that's interesting. Uh, there's uh, what? So that. <laughs> okay, so this is very WoW esque, right? So for me, I, it that takes me back to WoW, and I can't remember the quest line or anything for it. But basically, in order to uh, you know your tanks, your healers, your damage dealers, you're going through kind of these trials. And in order to go further down this this path of whatever class you chose, you got to make it through these trials, and and you're battling waves of uh, waves of enemies. But this it's it's kind of like a qualifying thing. So this is kind of what that reminds me of. All right, what else do we have? All tournaments are divided into several tier groups. Players with level thirty won't fight players level eighty. So. <laughs> So level 30 players, they're not going to be fighting level 80 players. And uh, five different level of tiers, five different tier levels for now. That's pretty cool. And then in some tournaments, you will get hero stones of heroes that are currently cannot be obtained. Uh, first in, uh, let's see, first one in the next two weeks. So we got a couple weeks to get ready for tournaments. So if you're not level 30 yet, definitely work your way towards level 30. I think this is going to be a pretty fun game mode. This game just continually impresses me with, with what they're doing. Some of the uniqueness in the gameplay and stuff is very cool as well. Again, I do like the environments. I like the art of this as well. It's just, it, especially since it just kind of reminds me of WoW. It's a, a huge thing for me right now, I guess, just because I've been so into WoW for so long. But anyway, so that is the newest update there. Lots of cool stuff coming in the next couple of weeks. So definitely something to look forward to. All right, everybody, that's what I had for you today. Just a quick video to go over the newest update that is coming out very, very soon for Dragon Champions. And I'm uh, really excited for it. All right, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.